my first YouTube video and welcome to my channel! So for this video, as you can see from the title, I will try to answer some of your questions and walk off from my IG story. So ito mga to. So if you want to know my answers, just keep on watching. First question, what are your plans to channel mo and what type of content? So, my plan is um, to focus mainly on beauty and lifestyle. So, mga skincare or makeup contents. And for sure, if wala ng quarantine, I will vlog on special occasions and mga travel vlogs. So, next question. Um, favorite pick of you? So, my favorite pick of me is actually my display picture dito sa YouTube account ko. So, ito. Yan. Because bare faced ako dyan and wala parang it really shows the real me like walang filter, walang walang makeup, ganyan, walang covers. So, ayan. Are you a fan of K-pop or K-drama? Yes, I'm a fan of K-dramas, but no, I'm not a fan of K-pop. I like their songs, pero hindi ako fan. So, I'm sorry. But I like their songs, diba? Nice. Okay, favorite series. So my favorite series is Modern Family. Um, more than Friends and How I Met Your Mother. So sorry for the Friends and How I Met Your Mother fans out there. I mean, I love them all, but my favorite is really Modern Family. Like I can watch it. Nung paulit ulit, I've watched it mga three times yung mga isang ilang episodes. So yes. Next question is, what is your dream job and what is your biggest achievement in life? So my dream job prior going to college is actually becoming a doctor. Yes, a doctor. But then, pagpasok ko sa UPM sa course ko, we have a contract pala. And ang contract namin is kailangan daw namin mag-work po na dun sa course namin, sa course path namin, for two years after graduation before we can pursue other things such as medicine or iba pang gusto mo. So, wala akong choice. I really have to work muna dun sa um, career path na to. And if I enjoy it, then I'll continue it. Pero pag hindi, siguro I'll find other options and maybe go to medicine and pursue my dream. So, next, from the same person. Ito pang pakiramdam, nagsisimula ka na po ng YouTube channel. Pa-shoutout na rin po. Hello! <laughs> so, I'm happy and scared at the same time because, syempre, happy kasi... I'm doing content. I'm happy taking videos, ganun. Pero I'm scared na baka hindi mag-succeed, na baka mag-flop, ganun. Pero I told myself to overcome that and, you know, gawin natin to kasi nag enjoy tayo. <laughs> so, next question. What is the best advice someone has ever told you? Um, I don't know if this is the best advice na as in ever pero like yung most recent siguro is um, advice isa-isa lang so parang gawin mo isa-isa lang kasi ako as a person like at gusto ko talaga na nag-advance ako ayoko na nangangarag ako like pagdating ng deadline ganon as in gusto ko if may time ako gagawin ko na yung mga kailangan and so kapag malapit yung deadline tapos ko na siya diba and dahil nga dun parang nagiging tendency is gusto kong gawin lahat sabay-sabay. And, yun, na-overwhelm ako doon and nag-overthink na ako ganun. And, ayun, sabi sa akin ng, sabi sa akin ni someone na isa-isa lang. Um, next question, hobbies. So, my hobbies include watching Netflix, YouTube, watching YouTube, and um, much, much, much later, playing Valorant. Actually, Banorant. But, I enjoy it. I mean, minsan walang tutok, minsan meron. So, depende na lang. Pero, okay lang. nag enjoy naman. And, ML, minsan. As in, minsan. Okay, next. Fave content creator inspo. Fave um, YouTubers ko, si na Ray Hermar and Ella Gatchelian. Ang ganda talaga ng videos nila. And, ang ganda rin nila. Yun. Ang ganda ng video sila. And may principles lalo na si Ray Hermar. So, I really like her. And ang cute nila ni Miggy. 
So next, what is your recent purchase? So my recent purchase is this one. Nilagay ko talaga yan kasi nakita ko yung question na to. Para mabilis. So itong mirror na to, I got from Shopee for 145 pesos lang. So meron siyang light. Ayan. So 145 pesos, sobrang sulit na to. So if you want, I'll nag-leave ako ng link dyan sa description box na itong mirror. So next... Next question. What other influencer things do you want to try? So, I really want to try to do photo shoots. Siguro for skincare brands or any brands. Basta photo shoot. Um, so, there's this brand recently na nag-invite. Starting brand pa lang siya na mag-photo shoot daw. Ganon. Pero, nasa Pampanga. And nasa Metro Manila ako. So, andayo and ECQ pa nun. Kaya, hindi na ako nagpaalam sa parents ko kasi alam ko na yung sagot nila and I'm scared din kasi syempre ang layo nun tapos ayun but next time hopefully pwede na <laughs> ayun and then um favorite food favorite food ko is any Japanese food I swear Japanese food sashimi sushi katsudon tonkatsu tempura gyudon Oh, sarap. <laughs> and my favorite Japanese restaurant is Marugame. Kasi super sulit to mo. Affordable, yet ang dami. Next, pet peeves. Pet peeves. One of my pet peeves is yung mga tao. Yung mga nagsasabi sila, pero hindi nila ginagawa. Kasi, ba? Tapos, parang, syempre, hindi ka naman madisappoint kung hindi ka nag-expect. Hindi ka mag-expect kung hindi nila sinabi. Kaya ayun, nagkakaroon ng disappointments kasi nagsabi ka, hindi mo ginawa. So, ayun. Anong key para sa happy relationship? So, for a happy relationship with, siguro with family, friends, and with your partners, um, parang general na lang to. First is communication, di ba? Communication is key. Because, paano kung misunderstanding ng pala lahat and nag kayo? Eh, you can clear those misunderstandings by talking, di ba? So, yun. And also, effort and time. Siyempre, you have to exert effort na mapakita mo na gusto mo siya or time, ganun. <laughs> so, ayun. And also, siyempre, kailangan mo ng love. Paano mo gagawin, paano ka mag-exert ng effort, ng time, if hindi mo siya love? Paano, paano mo gugustuhin mag-communicate hindi, if hindi mo siya love? So, it all comes down to love. Okay, next. Ano secret ba't ang fresh mo? Hmm. Fresh ba ako? So, my secret is Walang secret. Hindi ko rin alam. Hindi ko rin alam. Siguro, I'm happy. And, mainit. I'm happy and nagsiskincare ako. Which, abangan you guys. Spoiler, yun yung mga next video. So, ayun. Oh my gosh. 10 minutes na? Bilis last question na siguro. Not really a question po, but advice po para sa mga gusto mag UPM. So, para sa mga students dyan, mga grade 12 students na gusto mag-enter in any college na kailangan ng college tests, you really, really have to study, 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 and trust the process. Like, oo, oh, oh, paulit-ulit study, study, pero you have to trust the process talaga na everything will be worth it. Ako dati kasi um, I know sa sarili ko na I cannot study yung topics na yun in just one week before the tests or one day, even one day na makakilala ko na nag-aral one day before the test. And nahirapan sila. So, first is you have to know yourself. You have to know your limits. Ako alam ko na kailangan ko mag-study prior mga weeks or months before para talagang manamnam ko yung lessons. And second is yun, i-pace mo yung self mo based dun sa limits mo. So ako, I studied at least an hour every day, months before the tests. 
para talagang gets mo yung concept, hindi lang yung puro kabisado. Kasi hindi mo naman sure kung anong questions eh. Paano kung same concept, but iba yung take dun sa the take dun sa question. So, hindi mo na alam. Kasi yun na yung kinabasado mo. So, really, you have to understand the concepts. Okay? So, I think that's it for this video. Medyo mahaba-haba naman. And if there are any questions na hindi ko nasagot, I'm sorry. I will try to answer them siguro pag ng next Q&A ulit tayo. So, ayan. Again, if nakaabot ka dito, thank you, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video kasi ako, nag-enjoy ako filming this. So, if you haven't um, subscribed, go subscribe na. Like, comment, and share this video. So, again, thank you and bye-bye!